we all know the Adidas brand. Being one of the most preferred sportswear and equipment brands in the world, Adidas has an interesting story as well as being successful. How do you think it was so successful? Political support at that time? Or was it pure luck? Let's see, in MCH Real Style. Originally a family business, the shoe workshop known as Gebruder Dassler Sportschuh Fabric was founded by Adolf Dassler and his brother Rudolf Dassler in 1948 in the German town of Herzegenorik. This company, owned by Adolf and his brother Rudolf, enters a fork in the road after the Second World War. Rudolf Dassler, one of the brothers who were angry with each other due to political events, leaves the family business to establish his own shoe workshop and establishes Puma, another world-famous sportswear and equipment manufacturer, which is still known by everyone today, on the other side of the same town. This competition is reflected in the employees of both companies. Employees, who are careful not to cross the town, do not even use places such as markets and restaurants where other company employees go. The brand name of Adidas was inspired by the name of its founder, Adolf Dassler. The first and legendary logo of Adidas, which has different logos according to the production departments today, was designed by its founder Adolf Dassler. The story of the logo begins in 1949 with the three lines used on a running shoe. First of all, the logo, which was inspired by the three lines on the side of the shoes worn by record-breaking athlete Emil Zadopek, emphasizes the challenges that must be overcome and the goals to be achieved with a rising mountain symbol. Headquarters of Adidas and Puma, which have been in competition since the day they were founded and managed to become one of the most popular sports equipment manufacturers in the world, are still in the town of Herzegenorik. The brothers Adolf and Rudolf, who died embittered, were buried in the same cemetery, but as spaced apart as possible. After the death of Horst Dassler, Adolf Dassler's son, in 1987, Adidas was sold to the French industrialist Bernard Tappy for $1.6 billion, and in 1993 it was on the verge of bankruptcy. Famous French financial expert Robert Louis Dreyfus took the company public and saved it from bankruptcy. The biggest competitor of Adidas, which is the biggest sports products brand in Europe, is the American brand Nike. Adidas products, one of the favorite sports product brands of young people, are sold in approximately 200 countries. According to the data, Adidas, which produced more than 245 million pairs of shoes in 2011 alone, appeals to all age groups in men and women categories. It offers a wide variety of products such as shoes, hats, bags, sportswear and other sports equipment to its customers. In 2001, the company launched an advertising campaign of $50 million with the slogan Impossible is Nothing. Adidas, whose value is around $15 billion, bought its rival British sportswear manufacturer Reebok for $3.8 billion in 2006.